Hello, everybody. I, I hope um, gratitude is real in everyone's lives and um, that we are thankful for all things great and small and uh, that we express those to the people who take um, their time and effort, sometimes even invest of themselves in so many ways uh, to help us out or to uh, give us a hand as needed or even just to show uh, their appreciation. Uh, I want to address a specific situation uh, that somebody brought to my attention recently. So what happened was this person received a message saying, uh, hey, uh, I'll be getting back to you in the next couple of weeks or so uh, to let you know uh, kind of our job offerings, etc., job opportunities. Uh, this was from a principal at a school to obviously a teacher candidate. And this teacher candidate is in another country. So I'm sure a lot is writing on uh, how this transpires, what, what happens going forward. Uh, so I, I think the specifics were the, the principal who was uh, reaching out to this teacher said, you know, I'll get back to you a week or so after spring break. Now spring break is happening about now, uh, end of March, uh, early uh, April. Uh, it's like the last significant break, usually before the end of the school year at the end of May early June uh, for most schools. So uh, here's what I would like to suggest where uh, one could engage um, thankfully or with gratitude uh, to this news. And that is when you get that message, you know, hopefully within you know, a few days you're responding to uh, this principle, you know, just putting ourselves in the shoes of that uh, overseas teacher uh, to say, hey, you know, I'm really excited about the opportunities that uh, uh, you wish to discuss. Uh, when you come back, I'm wishing you a very restful and pleasant vacation. And I just wanted to thank you for reaching out to me. And I look forward to uh, uh, further discussing this, uh, these opportunities uh, when you get back. You know, just leave it like that. Something simple. Hopefully you can write something a little more, uh, I guess, put together. But these are just kind of thoughts that um, I'm thinking. And basically, what are you saying? You're saying you're acknowledging you got the message. You know, it didn't go into spam. And if it did go to spam or, you know, if you, uh, you know, it's been a week or, you know, it's been longer than a few days, uh, you could say, oh, so sorry. I just found this uh, message in my spam filter, but now I've, I've added you to my contacts, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm still very, that I'm very grateful, so on and so forth, you know, what I just said uh, previously. So uh, basically you're acknowledging you got the message, uh, you're thanking the person, and you're expressing your excited, excitement and interest in discussing this further. So the person who has sent it to you, you know, they may not be expecting a reply, but if they get a reply like that, they're going to say, oh, Okay, this person's, um, uh, this news is on their radar. They're looking forward or to a, looking forward, not, not just looking forward, but expecting a reply from me, you know, per the time that uh, I expressed. And uh, this could be, uh, this could be the one, right? This could be the candidate. Uh, because I'm pretty sure, well, who would you rather hire if you were in the shoes of the principal now? You probably want someone who's available, obviously, uh, someone who is willing and capable of doing the job, but also someone who is excited about discussing that and, you know, versus, you know, someone who's unavailable, uninterested, not very motivated, not very excited, you get the picture. So I just wanted to share that with you that hopefully uh, should you ever get uh, or ever be in this position, you know, whether it's now coming here to the United States or wherever you are, or in the future, you know, when you're looking for a new job or kind of putting feelers out there to see what's out there, that you follow up in this way so that you open the lines of communication versus just, you know, maintain radio silence and nobody knows what's going on. Now, again, do people expect you to get back to them? I'd say for the most part, no, but I think it's always a nice detail. I don't know of anyone who would say, oh, you know what, I'm not choosing this person because they didn't get, they, they got back to me and uh, they shouldn't have. But no, I mean, I, I think in our, in our, in our possession, uh, in our profession, sorry, especially, it is very important to have that open communication and you acknowledge things that, you know, not every little thing, but this is a big one, right? You know, someone's offering you a job opportunity and you just want to say, hey, thank you for considering me. I'm very excited about that, I'm very ex excited and interested in what you're proposing and hopefully uh, we can uh, have this discussion and, you know, uh, it can be something that all of us uh, benefits all of us. So again, 
you all can, you know, take, express it as you wish and, you know, in your own words, which I'm sure will be better than kind of what I'm saying just on the fly here. But, you know, do, do take that time and show that interest, you know, if you are indeed interested and motivated and, you know, so on and so forth. So just some thoughts uh, where gratitude can definitely enhance your chances. And again, it's just like a very simple message, very uh, quick and to the point and, Obviously, as much as words, written words can express them, showing your uh, excitement and your passion for it. So just some thoughts hopefully can help you out in your job search now and in the future.